You were diagnosed in 2009 with breast cancer. You were 44 years old. Yes. That must have been such a shock for you. That's the first thing I said to the radiologist. I said, but I'm so young. There's no rules. You found a lump. Yeah. And you thought, well, I guess I should go to the doctor. In fact, didn't your boyfriend at the time or your... Yeah, your my boyfriend at the time was like, you just need to get a mammogram because, you know, my gynecologist did a breast exam and she said, there's something there, but it doesn't feel like the bad kind of lump and it moves around. And, you know, it's her best opinion, but she doesn't know. Right. So you have to just go get a mammogram. Right. And so when you but got the, a mammogram... But the stupid thing is I hadn't gotten one at, before and I was 44 years old and that's a little silly. Yeah. So I went and got the mammogram and they were like, yeah, there's, you have a lump. You basically had breast surgery yeah. that allowed you to have reconstructive surgery. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you were also treated with chemotherapy because at first you didn't think you were going to need chemo, did you? No, uh, no one did. Uh, after my doctor sort of thought, it's all evidence appeared to be that once I got the surgery, it luckily was early stage and luckily had not spread. So they, I was sort of finished after the surgery. But in at the end, the pathology, it turned out that I had a aggressive form of cancer called HER2 new positive. We want to talk about breast cancer warning signs more so other people will know. It's a new lump or mass in the breast, swelling on all or part of the breast, skin irritation or dimpling, breast or nipple pain, nipple discharge or nipple retraction. So yeah. Any one of those symptoms, not, you don't need more than one. To, right, exactly. Right. And so, so what advice would you give to women who are like you? You know, a lot of my friends feel this way. They're nervous about going to the doctor. They say, they don't want to hear if it's bad news. What would you say to those women? I was afraid of the mechanics of it. Like, oh, it might hurt, and what if something's bad, but it's awkward, and it's just not that big of a deal. It's, you're in and out. It's nothing. Well, thank you so much, not only for coming here today, but now you're an ambassador for Stand Up to Cancer. There you are, looking beautiful, oh my gosh, yes. by the way. Oh, so your short hair. And you're also, we should mention, you're also in The Good Wife, which was one of my favorite shows, yeah. and you're going to be on Broadway with Tom Hanks. Yeah. How exciting for you. It's what do you, really exciting. Tell us about the Broadway. It's a play called Lucky Guy, written right. by Nora, Nora Ephron. Ephron, who also, unfortunately, uh, died of cancer. And it's a really nice tribute to her. And George C. Wolfe is directing it, and Tom's the star of it. And it's a lot of fun. Well, we're so happy to have you. So happy that you're feeling good. Yeah, I always foremost. knock on something. I'll find and it that you're before healthy. I go. You yeah. can knock on my head. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>